one of my Lucian cosplay, cutting out the basic shape to make this thing, which isn't very clear in my pictures, so I'll try and draw a better one later. But basically this is the second to top layer. The top layer is going to be this cloak thing, which I'm going to attempt to add a hood to at some point, but basically this is the under tunic I'm going to make, which is going to be slightly warmer. Um, it's going to have like padding stuff, it's going to be all paddy. Um, so if you ignore that side, this is the side that I am making. I will try to draw a better picture, hang on. Okay, so this is my super, super mega rough draft of what it's going to look like. It's even worse. Uh, so basically, I looked at Fantasy Princes on Pinterest and I found this sort of, I think it was a jacket for women. It was like a half swept thing. And I really like the idea of doing a half thing because it plays into that whole, you know, half Molly half Lucian thing, but also it just looked super princely and it means that you'll be able to see what he's wearing underneath. So he's going to have like all the, you know, all the, 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 the jacket and everything underneath. All he's going to have all this um paddy stuff. So that's going to be underneath and that's going to be a whole tunic thing. But this half of him, so it's going to be the left hand side, that is going to be this jacket. So it's going to have like the belt that goes around the middle that attaches the whole thing together but it's only going to be on his left side it's also going to have a piece on the neck it's going to have a neck piece and then a really super fancy shoulder so yeah that is what i'm making right now i've cut my pattern out so yeah i'm gonna start pinning so in my truly professional way and i am totally totally a professional at doing this <laughs> i cut out the pattern and then i pinned it into the mannequin just so i could have a look at how it's going to hang once I had a look, made sure it would hang on me okay, I pinned in the back piece as well so I could make sure they both sat, started pinning out where I was going to have the bottom sit, and made sure there was plenty of room for my arm in the arm socket. Always a good idea to do that one. And then I just made sure it sat properly before I pinned in the red. I decided the two main colours I wanted for my version of Lucian were going to be red and black. Red for the red eyes of nine, and black because Matt does describe him wearing dark leathers, and also I just feel like it's a very nonagon colour. Now, I may be biased because I do enjoy a good villain, but they do tend to have the most badass costumes with all these cool little details. So I did add these beading work bits down the back of it just because I wanted to add some extra bits of flair, even though nobody but me and anyone who watches this video will probably see the back of my Lucian costume. The front is going to have the piece of red fur, which is going to wrap around the back as well, but the front is going to have beading bits, but most importantly, it's also going to have stud work. So yeah, the front will be way more interesting, but the back deserves some love too, or so I think. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> this thing is gonna be super comfy. I'm basically making like a gambeson to go underneath this, cause that's just one half the fancy top bit. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be like, yeah, like, like a gambeson. Um, I've been redesigning it a little bit. So there's gonna be this top half with different bits of texture and then the bottom half is gonna be like the underlayer underneath that. So it's gonna be cozy and warm. Basically like a walking sleeping bag. Looking back on it now, the whole thing is done. I kind of wish I'd gone with my vaguely sleeping baggy, slightly longer gambeson idea because at the time, I do kind of agree. I thought it might take away from the half sort of tunic thing he's wearing on top, the princely thing. If it went down too long, I thought they might be fighting for attention. So the half jacket, it does work, but I'd like to go back and redo better. This is some of the leather work I started trying to do to go with it. I wanted to add something that was more like worn leathery armor that you would have on underneath. I quite like the sort of stripey fantasy aspect of it, and I did add studs later to give it more volume. We have made the executive decision to have a snow break in the garden. And off he goes. And I've changed my mind, I've changed my mind, it's too cold, I don't like it, my paws are cold, take me inside. Then, in true me fashion, I got frustrated with the shoulder and decided to edit. It does look a bit better. After that, I was tweaking and editing the gambeson and fake leather bit to make sure that they fitted together snugly, but leaving plenty of room for all the layers because purple tieflings need layers. And here we have the glamorous assistant in his natural habitat, sleeping. One of the good things about lockdown is that I don't have to face my neighbours if they get frustrated with me for hammering very early in the morning or late at night. But for me and Lucian, at least, it's all worth it. Here it is, Jelly Spoons, the extra shoulder. Because Lucian is extra, come on. I continued in that vein all the way down the front with the red fluff and the studs as well. Alrighty, you join me on February the 12th. I have done the jacket piece of Lucian, the sort of I look like a prince, look at my fancy shoulder piece, goes all the way down to here, 
jacket piece and the sort of gambeson-esque slightly leather it doesn't quite fit this mannequin so it's sitting really awkwardly piece but now i'm trying to decide what color to do the cloak now is that too much red or is it just enough red i can't decide I also can't decide if I'm actually going to give him a furry cloak. Oh, he needs a hood though, doesn't he? He needs a fucking hood. So, okay. Option one is... Stand back a bit. There we go. Option one is to have it in red. And option number two is black. Black velvet. Ah, oh, I can he decide. Okay. I asked my friends, I asked people on Patreon, and I asked some of the people who have backed me on Kofi, and they have gone for black. It was also pointed out to me by an intelligent person that red is a very molly colour. And although I am mostly going with red because of the nine eyes, I do see the point that I don't want it to too closely resemble molly because, well, that'll probably piss Lucian off, <laughs> which would be hilarious. But also, yeah, I want the two cosplays to stand out and be different. So, black it is. Let's go. I have admitted to this before, but I am no cosplay professional. I am working in minimal space and I am not a professional. I never learned how to do anything properly. I am literally learning and making shit up as I go. So here is my very professional way to make this cloak. I've got this dress, which I've cut open. It's from a thrift store. It's just a massive piece of black material. I found this on Pinterest. And because normally you would cut it in half and make the whole, but uh, Lucian is technically having like half of one, what I am going to do with this is I am going to make it a little bit longer around here, but the rest of the shape I'm going to leave the same. So it's going to be roughly like a half cloak and then it's going to sit over his shoulder. So let's do it. Here it is, my totally professional cutting and my totally professional fluffy warm slippers. Warm tootsies for me. Because I am such a professional, I definitely do not get sidetracked by making a tunic halfway through making the cloak. Or by petting the dog. Hi, dog. In totally unrelated news, here's the tunic I finished to go underneath Lucian's gambeson. Woohoo! Back on track in a truly professional manner, here is the cloak. I immediately got to pinning and hanging and making sure it would drape right over the tunic I had made. Now, I don't know about you, but I cannot imagine Lucian's hood without imagining the piece of fluff that goes all the way around the outside. So here is the fluff. Here is the hood. And here is where all the fluff is going to go right down this side. Let's go. My name is Lucian. I am the Nanagan, and I am going to wear this adorable hood to go and see Santa. Good lord. This is why I never work with fur. This, 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 what you just do? God damn it, Lucian! You better be worth it. Spoiler alert, Lucian was definitely worth it. Look at it, just, oh, just look at it. Of course, there is the rest of the cloak to start doing. So I've pinned it into place. I've added some studs. I've added some beadwork. I have draped it down so it's hanging on the right-hand side. I've left it so it's a bit off the shoulder, just for a little bit of more, you know, extra flair. Now I just need to sew it all up. Okay, I am not going to make you watch a video of me just stitching and stitching and stitching and stitching because even in a time lapse that is boring as hell so this is an old skirt that i am attaching to a second old skirt Ooh, don't fall off god don't fall off the mannequin oh god and uh that's an old necklace and this is a bead and it looks all weird all this close up but hello doggy the dog is leaving he's hungry all right so this is the other shoulder of course we've got the extra shoulder this is just the extra so extra but this shoulder is sort of you know, got to be a little bit exciting too partly because i am rapidly falling out of love with this armor mm, like i do i don't know i'm looking at it again and i kind of do like it but at the same time i am falling out of love this shoulder thing is blah, but you're not really gonna see it under all of this so i may change it later but for a placeholder it is fine uh yeah mm, lucian i love him I didn't end up doing too much more detailing on the collar because it wouldn't get shown underneath the hood. But here is a view of the rest of it. Now it's all been completed. Up the hem, see the fluff, see the studs, see the extra shoulder. And yeah, cloak's done too. Okay, so I am attaching the fluffy hood. Let's see, on my list of things. I've only, got three, look, I've only got three things to do, right? And that makes it sound like I haven't got very much to do. But oh no, the pants are going to fuck me up. I just know this. I suck at doing pants. Anyway, attach hood. Simple enough. Attaching the hood. I have been 
going alongside attaching the hood. I hate fluff, but it looks so goddamn cute. Also, I am watching Project Runway uh, from years and years and years ago, discovering that I have no taste whatsoever because every outfit that I like tends to be in the bottom. I'm not going to question that. Fluff. All right. Not only am I adorable, I'm also swooshy. And as always, with my teeth wing boys, I am dangly. Here he is, the half finished boy. He's got white fluff on his hood. He's got red fluff. He's got studs. He's got everything. I've got white snow boots I can't wait to wear. Next up are the pants. You'll be delighted to know that the footage where I gaffer taped my legs up and made these to measure my pants by got mysteriously lost. You're welcome. So to start off my absolutely atrocious pant making journey, I made a pattern from some old trousers that I had, I cut it out, I got my fake leather fabric, and of course I had my faithful assistant. Glamorous and helpful as always, aren't you pooch? Yeah. Scritchy scritch. Unfortunately, no matter how hard the dog tried, he could not save these pants from me. Okay, so I'm nearly roughly finished with Lucian's pants. They don't look done, but they are very near. They're a few stitches away from being done. So I'm going to be going down the edges and I'm going to be um, doing sort of a bit like, bit, bit like Witcher style sort of um, edge ties. So it's going to all be like laced up at the edges because, you know, he's extra. But I cannot decide and you can't really see because of the light. Ah, there you go. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to decide. I've got four colours here. Um, this is a nice set. I've been slowly working my way through for a few months now. And, uh, yeah, so, would Lucian have black rivets? This is the uh, fabric his leggings are made out of, so it's like a sort of snake skinny fake leather. So would he have black on black? Would he have gold on black? I was leaning towards gold in the first place just because it's Lucian and, you know, extra. Uh, or silver? No, it's silver. That is very witcher. I might lean away from silver. I don't want to just look like Geralt. Uh, or there's like bronze. Um, okay, well I'm going to take silver out. Just because it is a bit witchery. So, okay, what do we think? Bronze, gold, or black? Um, okay. This is the rest of him. He has got like brassy, goldy details. So he's got like all the studs. Um... And the eyelets on his the eyelets on his jacket are gold and bronzy. These are bronzy. All right, so I think I'll go with a gold or a bronze. I'll take a black. What do you think, Troy? What do you think, gold or bronze? Thank you, thank you for your input. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go bronze. I think the bronze looks better with the black. Gold can be safe when I make a prince or something. All right. Do this. Even more love and appreciation for my neighbours here because I hammered in every single one of these. The dog then came to check I was doing it correctly and I think I passed. And then you guessed it, more hammering time! When I laced up the edges I realised they do look quite a lot like Geralt's pants from The Witcher but eh, it's a cool style. I chucked on some purple leggings so that you'd think it looked like skin from the edges and I did leave them loose because I wanted him to have more movement as well. So one mediocre attempt at pants behind me, I set foot on the next piece of my journey with the dog's blessing. I triple check with several of my LARP friends to make sure that they are called braces, and they are in fact called braces, that's what I'm attempting to make. Now I wanted to try and make the fake leather look more worn, like he'd been wearing it for a while, and bear with me while I explain my technique. So I grabbed a lemon zester, and I started rubbing away at the edges and various patches of the fake leather until it looked more worn and old. This is a sort of self-taught guesswork technique that I Tried to perfect as a sort of goth punk kid in high school when I wanted to get ripped jeans, but my god, pre-ripped jeans cost the earth. So yeah, lemon zester and you do it yourself. And have a look, see? All the way around the edges, they look more worn and torn. Now, of course, these aren't just any braces. These are Lucian the Nonagon braces, so they have to be special. Hello. I come to see what you're doing. What do? I'm tired. What do? Can I have scritches? Yeah. Little known fact, but scritching your animals does help the creative process immensely. 
Well, here is how my first bracer turned out. I am genuinely quite proud of it. I think it looks okay. I've got to make another one though. Here we go. Seeing as it actually turned out okay, I'm going to take you through the whole process start to finish. I already had a paper template for how big I wanted the bracer to fit because I'd already made the first one. So using that, I cut out three pieces from the fake leather, one for the base of the bracer for it all to sit on, and two so I could make strips going in both directions. I wanted the braid pattern to be really obvious, so when I cut the strips out, I actually made them a tiny bit smaller than I'd originally measured, just so that you could see through the design and make sure all the little bits of leather were shown. Slightly small side note, you may have noticed I'm a little bit weird. And one of my annoying weird things is that I work with fake leather, I don't use real leather, so I have no idea if my zesting technique would work on real leather, so please don't ruin any of your leather by attempting it, please do try it the fake way like me. Um, but if you do try it on real leather and it works, let me know, because I'm genuinely interested, because I have no idea having never used real leather before for anything. But back to the finished braces, and they actually look okay. They fit, they lace up, they do well. I am genuinely quite proud of these guys. Once I'd finished making all the different pieces, I sat down and I decided to draw out once again what my Lucian was going to look like. I'd tried on every piece, so I had a better idea of how it was all going to fit me now. So rather than just a concept in my head that I put on paper based on a few images on Pinterest, I actually knew, well, this fits, this goes here, this folds here, and when it comes on, you can see this, 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 and not this. So I redrew it out so that I'd have a better idea once I put the whole thing on to fill my TikToks and the end of the video. I really like what I have done. I don't think I changed too much that I'm not happy with. There are various things I'd go back through and do a little bit differently, but overall, I love it. But of course, before any cosplay could be tried on, you have to snuggle the dog. It's it's just the law at this point, And, you know, it helps the creative process. Honest. Honest it does. I only truly appreciate just how much jewellery I wear when I'm taking it off to get into cosplay. Friggin' love these booties, they're just so cute. Look at Lucian off in the snow with his pom-poms. Oh. Well, Jelly Spoons, we are here. We are at the end of the road. I have finished making Lucian. The only thing I haven't put on is my gloves because I've been uh, pressing buttons on the camera. Uh, this, it just, just fits over the horns. Just because I made it stretchy. Um, he's fluffy. I decided to go with the chain belt in the end because I didn't want to have anything pushing on this because I just, it didn't look right. Um, I had these snow boots I've decided to give him. Um, all in total, I am very happy with like the top half. Um, the bottom half could do with some work and there are different bits and pieces that I would do different. But overall, I am just happy to have this beautiful hood. And spoiler alert for Critical Role. Uh, as of today, which is the 26th of February, Lucian is not dead. So I don't know why I have the radiators on, uh, but I have this fantastic new background. I am going to shoot some TikToks and I'm going to do you a full body thing. So yeah, I will return. <laughs> Okay, I have just filmed a bazillion TikToks and I am very, very warm and I am very, very hungry. <laughs> so I am going to take all of this kit off. Um, yeah, basically, massive thank you to everybody who is watching this early because if you're watching this early, you are one of my Patreon or Kofi supporters and that means that um, basically most of this was bought by you guys because you supported me and gave me the funds in which to continue this crazy hobby that one day I hope to turn into some vague form of profession. Um, if you are not seeing this early then I still love you, thank you for watching all of this and this was my crazy making Lucian the Nonagon cosplay journey and I've done a video in defense of Lucian before and I think he's a pretty kick-ass character. I miss and love Molly the most and he will always be my absolute favorite, however, ah, uh, Lucian, ah, uh, the prince that he is, I just, yeah, he's something special. Bye Jelly Spoons, goodbye!
Greetings, it's Ender the Video Moku here, just to say another massive thank you to anyone who supports me on Ko-fi or Patreon. If you'd like to join them, the links are above. You can help to vote because soon I'll be opening up voting so you can decide what cosplays I do next for my 12 months of cosplay. There are also behind the scenes videos, and most importantly, dog pictures! If that sounds like something you'd like, come and follow the links up above. I love you all, goodbye!